Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Eric from e Get Tech. If like me, you've been driving for quite a number of years, I'm pretty sure you know how unpredictable it is to be on the road. And more than ever, it is now a necessity to have a dash cam installed inside your car. Not only will it let you prove your innocence in case of any kind of accident, Or most of the time here in the Philippines, it's proving your innocence when traffic enforcers are giving you a ticket because of an alleged traffic violation. But what happens when the video that your dashcam recorded has for whatever reason been corrupted or accidentally deleted? So guys, you are in luck now because with the Any Recover data recovery software, you can easily recover and restore any of the deleted videos that was previously on your dashcam. So join me in this video guys, I'm going to be reviewing the look and feel of the Any Recover software and let you guys know if this is highly recommended and is a piece of tech or software that you guys should get. So let's get going guys! So as I mentioned guys, this is the Any Recover data recovery software. So it does allow you to recover your data from your Windows or your Mac from your hard drive connected to your Windows and Mac, to an iPhone, an iPad, and even to your Android phones. So it allows you to recover data from 2000 plus storage devices. As long as your Windows or your Mac can detect that device as a storage device, then this software will allow you to recover any form of data that you've lost on those devices. And a standard guys, this is free to try. So if you want to give the software a try, go ahead and download it from the product link that I've included on the video description and I've pinned on the comments. So once downloaded, you just need to install it and then do a test recovery. And if the software can actually see the files that you need to recover, feel free to go ahead and purchase the software outright. And if you guys are interested in getting this data recovery software, there are a couple of plans available for you. Of course, the lifetime plan is the best value for money instead of playing 139.99 there's actually a huge discount going on right now and you can get it for 79.99 it's a one-time purchase so you don't have to worry about paying on a yearly or on a monthly basis it does support up to five devices and you can install it on up to three pcs so that could either be windows or mac and of course you've got the yearly license you only have to pay five dollars and 83 cents per month and if you convert it to a year you're actually only going to be billed 69.99 instead of 89.99 and if you just need it for a short period, then you can go ahead and get it for the monthly license, which is going to cost you $49.99. So usually dash cams utilize or use a micro SD card or a memory card in order to save that data. In most cases, laptops do have a micro SD card slot, but in cases where you don't have one, you have to use some USB to micro SD card adapter. Now to show you guys, I've actually connected my micro SD card to that adapter and connected it to my machine. It's going to show up as a USB drive and it depends on the dash cam that you've got. You're going to be seeing several folders or different types of folders. The normal folder will contain the normal day-to-day -day recording of your dash cam. So let's say for example this got deleted. Okay, just to be sure, let me put up a notepad and that is the file name that we'll be looking for later. And let me go ahead and do a shift delete. And let me open up my any recover software. Okay, so in this case, you're going to need to go to the PC and hard drive recovery. And as I mentioned, guys, it's going to be detected as a USB drive. Let me click on that and it's going to start scanning right away. So let it run the deep scan and then it'll let you know the type of files that it's going to find on this specific memory card. But just take note guys, in case that you really need to recover any type of data on your memory card, stop using it right away. If you keep using it, there is a chance that the data that you need to recover will be overwritten and will then be impossible to recover. It looks like the deep scan is going to take a while. It's going to depend on how big uh, your USB drive or your micro SD card is. In this case, I'm just using a 32 gig one so I'll come back after a couple of minutes and then we can start looking through uh, the data that it's found that is available for recovery yeah.
All right, guys, so the scan is complete. So it's telling us that in case some of the files were not found, we can do a recover and then I can try again. But let's see if I can find that specific video that I just previously deleted, guys. I actually found a lot of files here. So a total of 480 files. It's more than I expected, to be honest, guys. So I, I did kind of forget that I've been using this memory card for quite some time. So it has accumulated a lot of files like photos and videos. So let's go to videos now because I'm actually trying to focus on that one. So it was on 0407, 122, okay, I think we've got a match guys. When you're going to do any to any type of recovery guys, I would highly recommend recovering it to a different uh, drive. So you could put it on your C drive or your D drive or another USB drive, but don't recover it directly onto the USB drive that you're restoring from. Okay, so let's click on recover. And I want to put it on a local drive. Uh, let's see, let's put pictures and let's create a folder. Recover. Okay, and select. Okay guys, so the recover process was pretty fast. Uh, fast is good. I'm just worried that if the recovery process is fast, it, it might recover a corrupted file. So let's hope this is not the case. It's going to create an all files folder uh, and any recover actually goes a step further by sorting your photos or videos by their file extension types. So in this case, the video that I'm actually restoring is an mp4 file. So it created an mp4 folder and put it right there. We've got the right uh, file guys. So let me double click. Alright guys, so there doesn't seem to be any corruption at all on the dashcam footage that I've just recovered which I purposely deleted just in case you actually come across a problem where your video is corrupted or for whatever reason it got deleted accidentally or your dashcam actually overwrote that specific video that you're looking for, you can use the any recover software to restore that data. And as I mentioned guys, one other perk that you're gonna get or benefit by using the any recovery data recovery software is that you do get access to something they're calling all drive. So you can back up files from unlimited computers to a secure cloud uh, storage, which is the, your all drive. So you can actually enable your Google Drive and other cloud drives to access this specific uh, cloud storage manager. And as you can see here guys, I've already logged on to my all drive cloud storage. You can choose to connect your uh, drive Dropbox or your Google Drive to this so you can easily copy from uh, one cloud storage to the other. On the free edition, you've got space up to 10 GB. All you need to do is click on upload files or you can drag your files here so that you can upload it to your free 10 GB or drive cloud storage. Not only is it a data recovery software, it's also a cloud backup solution. The 10 GB storage is very generous. But of course, if you want to get more storage, you can upgrade your plan and you can get more storage for you to use and back up all your important files. And as I mentioned guys, once you've signed up to a monthly, a yearly, or the lifetime plan, you become a VIP and you can enjoy unlimited expert services. So what does that do? You can send issues for analysis, so for whatever reason, if their software is not working for you, and you can also schedule a time for a remote one-on-one -on -one service. So you are getting your money's worth if you subscribe to any of the product plans. And just as a reminder guys, if you're interested in the software, I've included the product link on the video description, and you can also refer to the comment section where I pinned the product link below. So overall, pretty happy with my experience with the any recover data recovery software. Let me know if this is a piece of software that you guys want to get. But until then, a sub would be massively appreciated. Please like and subscribe, hit that bell icon notification, and see you all on my next one.